made it. Only took 10 plus years. Well, so my friends, Brian and Michael from The Proper People recently released a video here, so I'm not going to be too fancy. You can get my perspective on the trains and what they look like at this particular time of the day with this kind of light. But yeah, you've probably seen their video. If you haven't, I recommend checking it out. Because I'm sure it will be as good as their other videos. Okay, well, I've made it to the trains. They're quite colorful. And it is extremely hot. Even down here in the shade, it's really hot. Yeah, these guys are in very rough shape. So I think I'm going to start shooting some photos. I haven't counted the trains yet, but there are a lot more than I expected, even from viewing the satellite view. But I've reached the end here. And there's some graffiti and stuff everywhere. Here we are at the end of the rails. <sighs> well, they're beauties. They're quite tarnished with graffiti, but in a way it kind of adds to it. I'm not a big fan of graffiti. However, or vandalism. I consider them to be one and the same quite often. However, it is what it is, it's already here, so it's best to live with it and try not to fall and make the most of it with hopefully some good photos. Here we go. Whew, my hat is absolutely soaked, my goodness. So I've been shooting for a while, maybe an hour or more. And this young couple appeared out of nowhere. I saw the shoes going under, under the one set of cars there. And so I said, hey, and then they started taking off. So I jumped over the train and said, hey, hey, it's cool. They're all good, no worries. So they've been wandering back and forth and up one end and down to the other. And uh, I was shooting some photos here and I just happened to turn around and catch them kissing out of the train. So I got an idea quickly and they were down with it. Check this out. So, there they are. That was a test shot, but yeah, there they are. It's not coming out very clearly on the, on the screen. Maybe I'll just superimpose it over the, the video. But yeah, I was hoping for an original shot and there it is. <sighs> so I may actually have all my photos. I'm still gonna go up and down and check this place out a bit more because I've got maybe an hour's worth of light and I've only seen what feels like 20% of the trains. Maybe it's a little more. Um, and then I wanna try to get out of here before it's dark. And then I have some planning to do for another exploration, which will probably end up in a different video but that's a different topic for a different day. Uh, but so far, I'm actually really enjoying the graffiti here. Um, my opinion up until today was that I don't like vandalism and graffiti so much. It kind of depends on where it is, but this is like the graffiti highway in Centralia, or at least what it used to be before it got filled in a few months ago. It adds some really interesting color and character to it. And <sighs> let's be honest. Nothing's happening with these trains. So I almost view this like an art project. I heard a door. Let's hide. I think I heard someone coming. I think kids are gone, so I don't know who this is. I heard the owner likes to carry shock. 
walking around. This looks like a funny face, but I'm actually a bit serious on the inside. Story of my life. Well, since I'm here, I'm gonna look inside one of these cars. <laughs> See ya. All right, well, things are probably okay. Hmm. Okay, I think the coast is clear. The couple that I just photographed were walking on a path up there, way up there. Good ears, though. I could pick it out amongst all the rustling of the leaves and things, so. <sighs> all those years of standing in front of giant martial amps didn't kill the hearing too much. Maybe what's in here, but not the ears. Okay, so I think I'm going to continue on. Now I think I have about 30 minutes of decent light. Give or take a parsec or something. So I'm going to yeah continue on and try to get some more good shots. I think I nail a really good one here, hopefully. I'll put it up if it's good. If I didn't, end scene. So hot here. Wow, even with the breeze and the shade. Uh, I was quite concerned about trying to get an original shot in this place uh, because it's been photographed to death and there's some very typical shots and then there are perhaps some unorthodox shots. Um, so the one I just took of the couple, that certainly helps my quest. But ultimately in a situation like this, what you have to do, at least what I do, is rely on my my own photographic ability and style and sight lines and uh, personality, if you will. So my style should come out of the photos regardless, and that gives them their own personality compared to other people. There will be repetition, it's unavoidable. People will do the close-ups of the paint chipping, the wide shots of the two trades together, side by side, what have you, um, and all that kind of stuff, but ultimately, you just have to be yourself and hope it all works out. It sounds so very philosophical, but it's kind of true. I mean, I really live by that code. Um, so, I mean, that's the best I can recommend for anyone in a situation like this. Just be yourself and use the light to your advantage. That also helps. And, you know, maybe you can get one or two really good shots that can stand out from other people. And, um, I don't know, win awards. I don't know. At least be something you could be proud of. Awards don't mean anything. Kinda. Okay. Let's go have a look at what else is down there. Carrying my trusty 7D Mark II with me. And what lens do I have on there? 1755 lens. So let's go have a look and see what's down here further. I don't know how far I'm gonna go. The light is really dulled in the last few minutes. So I might actually leave soon. Maybe I'll just go and have a look down here and see what, what there is. A little muddy here. I'm curious to see this train that people sit on all the time. I think I'm gonna take the other side. This is a bit, a bit too murky for my taste right now. Just not in the mood for a mud bath. Although, it seems to be where all the footprints are. 
and or people just walk through the trains. Well, I haven't done that yet, so let's let's go have a perusal of the interior of the trains. Well, these floors feel relatively stable. But I know of one person who fell through the floor at one point. All my friends are wasted. I am 14 and this is deep. I just got dripped on. Some moisture right there. I guess since I'm walking through, let's have a look at one of the driver seats here. Or whatever it's called, conductor driver. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I can really see the fascination for people. This really has a Last of Us kind of feel. A world without people. Oh, soft floor. Oh, I wonder if this is a spot where she went through the floor. That looks like a leg. Oh my goodness. This has got to be it. Oh, I bet that's it. Wow. Okay, I'm going to pause for a second and do a little messaging. I'll be right back. Okay, a quick bit of messaging has revealed that this is not the hole that she fell through or punctured. Yeah, now I've got no leverage for my hands, so I have to be careful, extra careful. To remember these things are really rotted out underneath and I don't feel like being another victim of a hole in the floor maybe that's it you know what I think how am I going to do this? Here, watch the footwork. Whoa. Everything here is a little soft. Got to be really careful. We've reached the end. Why does this ever feel like a scene in Jurassic Park? <laughs> or some end of world scenario? Can't be the last train. Uh, well, I'm gonna go outside again and have a look and see what else is down there. I don't think they're. Maybe this is the last train. No, I see more. Mm. <sighs> Gosh. Well, I guess I'll go check them out. Uh, here comes a jump. Oh. Well, that was far. Ah. Oh, flap. Okay. I'm going to keep walking through this jungle and just see what's around this brush here. No, that's his property. Okay, we're done. That's it for the trains. Wow. I guess that's it for the trains. So I think I will head back to my home base at the beginning, pack up my gear and be on my way. <laughs> Sorry, it's getting whapped in the head. We're trying to avoid it at least. <laughs> Not doing a good job. Okay, get the camera out of the way. Then I'm gonna climb up. It's a hot, hot day, folks. All right. Made a wrong choice wearing the jeans with the tight knees. Okay. All right, here we go.
Not too embarrassing, right? So, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that is absolutely the hole that she fell through. Yep. Yeah, that definitely would have been the hole she fell through. It's big enough for a little human. <laughs> wow. It's hot and I'm dripping like Niagara Falls here. Okay. I think that wraps it up for me. I'm going to make my way back to my starting point. Pouring sweat. Drenched in sweat coming off of me. I don't trust these floors at all. Great light, but oh, maybe I'll take a photo here. This light is really good, actually. Have a look at that. I mean, it's a somewhat generic shot, but I think I kind of have to take it. I feel obligated. Yeah. The light is good on the seats, but I really want that set of growth plants down there to give it that real after humans feel. There's a bit of light peeking through there. I think it's an interesting shot. I'll give it a try. Be the bell. Oh, this is quite nice. Hopefully, the floor is good. For all my sad friends, hmm. it's sad. Uh, not the best floor in the world to shoot on, but we'll give it a give it a try. Okay. that's it for me. I'm going to wrap up shooting photos and video here at the trains and I'm not going to climb any. There's no photographic purpose for it. Everyone's done that shot so I don't think I'm going to bother with that. Um, I will just slip over here quickly. Have another look. Some nice light coming in here. Maybe I will take a shot. Let's let's see. This has to be the one that everyone climbs. Yeah, that's it right there. The green meanie. Uh, gosh, do I care that much? I don't think so. All right. There we go. I'm <laughs> just learning how to walk. Uh, only took how many years? All right, so there we go. That is, that was, this is the abandoned trolley graveyard in America. And now I am going to climb up this big hill and be on my way. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you next time.